Hi everyone, Jean-Pierre from teamtennis.fr and teamtennis.net. I hope you're in a good shape. In this video, I'm going to make a review of this racket. This is the Pro Kenex Key High 10, 305 grams on strength version 2022. Let's go. Before I talk to you about my feelings on the court, I'm going to talk to you about the kinetic technology, the technology you will find on this racket and the technology you will find only in Pro Kenex tennis racket. This technology corresponds to the use of microspheres embedded in the racket frame, also in the handle of the racket. These little spheres move during the swings. It creates energy transfer when players hit the ball. The system allows to have more power. It allows to enlarge the area, which allows to have an optimal power. Most of the time, when you off-center the ball, you lose power. And with this system, it allows you to lose less power than with other rackets that, that don't have the kinetic technology. This technology also improves the stability of the racket, and this technology improves vibration, absorption, and also the comfort when you play with the racket. And Pro Kinex Tennis rackets have the reputation to be very comfortable because of this technology. Therefore, this system is interesting for players with elbow pain and maybe with tennis elbow. The mass of kinetic system included in the frame is indicated in the name of the racket. Example, for the Ki I-10, there are 10 grams of kinetic system. The values goes from 5 to 30. So with the Ki-10, we are therefore on a relatively light kinetic system. Nevertheless, we can clearly feel the movement of the little spheres in the frame during blank swings. But during the game, with the speed of the swings, you hardly feel the microspheres move. You can hear them maybe like this when I move the racket. Sometimes you can hear them when you make little movements during your swings, sometimes during the preparation, the back swing, when you make it slowly and if you really pay attention to the movements of the spheres, but most of the times you forget about them and you don't hear them. Guys, before I continue for your tennis equipment, I advise you to go at Tennis Warehouse Europe or Tennis Warehouse USA. I have a partnership with these websites and it's very nice from you if you click on my affiliate link with these websites before you buy there. Doing so, you will help me continue the videos I'm doing on YouTube. You can find my affiliate links in the description under the video. And you can also type one of the addresses that appear directly on the video. Thank you very much. Okay guys, let's go with my feelings on the court when I played with the racket. And first, we are going to start with the power provided by this racket. I show you on the screen a comparison only in terms of power with some other rackets maybe you already know. So during my test, I found that this racket offered a good amount of power without being too powerful. I would say that this racket is semi-powerful, but it's not difficult to play with this racket in terms of power. On my forehand, on my backhand, I had a good compromise between power and control. I had a good dose of power without feeling like I had to force my shots. At the same time, I had a fairly satisfying level of control. But, there is a but. As the session went on, I felt the slightly high swing weight of 331, which gave a slight feeling of weight at the tip of the racket, which made it a little difficult for me to accelerate the racket. Not very bothering, but the feeling was there. I would recommend this racket more to players with fairly large swings, okay, relaxed large swings, who know how to use the weight of the racket to produce power without forcing too much. Pay attention to that. On the backhand side, I was less bothered by the swing weight because my backhand simply is better than my forehand, more relaxed. So it was better on my uh, backhand, but still I'm more comfortable with rackets that have a little less weight in the head. On my serve, a weak point for me in terms of power. I, it, I felt quite correct, but again, uh, the weight at the head made it a bit difficult for me to accelerate the racket head. So again, a good technique is required, pay attention, with large, loose and fluid swings, okay? And finally, I would say that this racket is semi-powerful. Okay, now we talk about the access to spins, slice, top spin with this racket. On my slice backhand, I had excellent feelings, nothing more to say. Concerning top spin, I had excellent sensations from the baseline. Access to top spin is easy without being particularly exaggerated. On the serve, I had good access to slice, no problem. A little more difficult for the topspin serve, but it was okay, especially since the topspin serve 
is not a strong point, a strong shot in my game. Overall, I found the access to top spin quite correct with this racket. Okay, now we talk about the maneuverability of this racket. This is interesting. The balance of the Prokonexki i10 is located at 32 centimeters unstrung, which is equivalent to a neutral balance. But we must also pay attention to the swing weight of the racket when we think about maneuverability. The swing weight has a value of 331 for a strung racket. It is slightly high, it produces a slight feeling of weight in the head of the racket and it reduces the maneuverability a little. Throughout the session I was slightly bothered by this feeling at the head of the racket which caused me to lose a bit of swing speed, especially on my forehand as I said where I don't always have a very large and relaxed swing, so pay attention to that. The maneuverability of the racket will, in my, in my opinion, be fine for players having rather large and loose swings, and players also who don't only play with the wrist with their forearm to accelerate the racket. Personally, I liked the shape of the racket, an oval shape, which gives me a little more maneuverability than rackets with a more rounded shape. That's interesting also, the shape of the racket for the maneuverability. Overall, the maneuverability is therefore correct, but beware of the weight in the head of the racket, which can reduce a bit the maneuverability of the racket. Okay, now we talk about the comfort, a strong point for this racket. I found the comfort excellent with fairly soft feelings and good vibration absorption. It was very nice to play with this racket. I wasn't bothered by the noise of the kinetic technology, the microspheres moving around, but I imagine it may disturb some players, I don't know. So in a doubt, test the racket to see if it bothers you. Despite the shape of the overall head, not rounded like many current uh, rackets, I found the tolerance of the racket very good also. So now to conclude on this Pro Kinex Key i10 305 grams and strong, semi-powerful racket, a bit heavy, Maneuverability, okay, but be careful with the maneuverability of the frame. If you don't like to feel some weight in the tip of the racket, very good level of comfort, access to top spin, quite correct. I would recommend this racket to players of an intermediate or advanced level, not for beginners, because of the weight, because of the swing weight. Players able to play with a slightly heavy uh, tennis racket, 305 grams. It's not very heavy, but it's a bit heavy, so pay attention to the weight. Uh, and players looking uh, for a little feeling of weight in the head of the racket. Players who want a racket with a good power level without having the highest power level. The racket is not extremely powerful. Players with a good technique, I would say, rather lose swings. Players able to use the weight of the racket to produce power without forcing too much. Players with a semi-powerful game. Players who want a correct access to top spin. Players looking for a very comfortable racket. Players may be having elbow pain and players looking for a racket that combines a slightly heavy weight of 305 grams and strung with a good power control compromise and at the same time a very good level of comfort because it's not always easy to have all these things at the same time. Guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope it will help you if you're looking for a new tennis racket. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. Have fun playing tennis and I see you very soon in another video. Take care. Bye bye.